I know thy works, and where thou dwellest, even where Satan's seat is, and thou holdest fast my name, and hast not denied my faith. Even in those days when Antipas was my faithful martyr, who was slain among you where Satan dwelleth. But I have a few things against thee, because thou hast to bear them that hold the doctrine of Balaam, who taught Balak to cast a stumbling block before the children of Israel, to eat things sacrificed unto idols, and to commit fornication. So hast thou also them that hold the doctrine of the Nicolaitans, which thing I hate. Repent, or else I will come unto thee quickly, and will fight against them with the sword of my mouth. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that overcometh will I give to eat of the hidden manna, and will give him a white stone, and in the stone a new name written, which no man knoweth saving he that receiveth it. Dear the black church, as more Israelites and Gentiles awaken from their slumber, they will have questions. No longer can you ignore their questions. It is time that you address the concerns of the people. Tell them the reason they have been serving a God for 5, 10, 15, 20, 30 years and they cannot elevate in life. You can no longer hide behind false ideology taught to you in a foreign school that do not bear the Most High's name and His Spirit. Nowhere in scriptures did the Most High said you had to attend a seminary school to learn his statutes and laws. But this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, saith the Lord, I will put my law in their inward parts and write it in their hearts and will be their God and they shall be my people. Nowhere in the scriptures did the prophets of our ancestors and the Israelites had to attend a heathen school system to learn about the Elohim of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The prophets of old, warriors, and individuals were anointed, chosen by the Most High to lead his people. Once the Most High appointed whom he chose, he put his spirit in them. There was no need for a Bible college. Then Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brethren, and the Spirit of the Lord came upon David from that day forward. So Samuel rose up and went to Ramah. The many titles the people hold make them feel very important in this generation. Those who love their titles are stealing from the Most High's glory. You should decrease while the Most High increase. Who gave the leaders of this world the final say? Remember, the leaders of this world are the descendants of the very people who enslave your ancestors and presently oppressing you. Who is he that saith, and it cometh to pass, when the Lord commandeth it not? The Most High should have the final say. Remember, the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where? And who is he? To the elders and leaders of the black church, why would you believe the words of the rulers of this world? The scriptures reveal to you that they are wicked. Leaders of the black church, why are you allowing the system of the kingdom of darkness teach you about your Elohim? King David never went to an Ishmaelite or any other strange nation to learn the ways of the Elohim of Israel. David always seek the anointed prophets of the Most High. And David inquired of the Lord yet again. And the Lord answered him and said, Arise, go down to Kila, for I will deliver the Philistines into thine hand. But Jehoshaphat said, Is there not here a prophet of the Lord, that we may inquire of the Lord by him? And one of the king of Israel's servants answered and said, Here is Elisha the son of Shaphat, which poured water on the hands of Elijah. The scriptures made it clear that the Most High poured out his spirit on his anointed. How can you allow the heathens who do not have his spirit teach you about your Elohim? The scriptures say they do not know him because the world and those who follow the ways of this world do not know the Most High. They cannot receive his spirit. Even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him. 
for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. How can you let your enemies lead you? Dear black church, for multiple generations, you continue the enslavement of the sheeps of the most high by participating in the sins of this world. You fail your people in the communities that accommodate your wicked altars erected to idols. For a long time, the black church have been misleading the people of the most high with false doctrines. Through religion, the black church has robbed the people of the most high and destroyed their communities. The time has come for the most high to expose the wolves in sheep clothing. To the sheep whose spirits are caged by an evil altar erected in the black community, the time has come to repent and come out of the temple of sin. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. To my people in idolatry via the black church, over 400 years ago, our ancestors were led into captivity all over the world due to the sin of idolatry. Over 400 years later, our people in this generation continue to indulge in the sins of idolatry. My brethren that are trapped in the black church do not realize they are in idolatry. As the sheep of the Most High continue to be misled, the scriptures are being fulfilled. The Most High said to his people, the Israelites, he would scatter them all over the world. While they are in a strange land, his people, the Israelites, would worship and serve gods made out of man's hand, wood and stone, which neither you nor your ancestors have known. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people, from the one end of the earth even unto the other, and there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. Our ancestors do not know the image of the Jew that many Israelites worship and refer to as the Most High in the flesh. The Most High forbid his people to worship graven images. All the prophets the Most High use are Israelites and the Messiah look like the Israelites. The New Age worship of the Jewish Messiah is foreign to our Israelite heritage. The Most High recognized his people by Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob's bloodline. Religion allow you to convert. However, you can never convert to another bloodline. Every bloodline is named after the father of the bloodline. Remember, Judaism is a religion, not a bloodline, just as Christianity is a religion, not a race. To the Israelites in the black church and in the awakening, Jew is not short for Judah. The head leaders of the synagogue of Satan inserted that word into the scriptures, as well as many deceiving words. The scripture revealing that during their captivity, Israelites would serve gods their ancestors have not known is written in the Torah. The Torah or the Old Testament is where many religious leaders discourage the sheep from reading. One of the many doctrines taught to the black church by the synagogue of Satan, the Old Testament covenant is fulfilled. If the Old Testament covenant is fulfilled, why do the church practice certain Old Testament traditions? Traditions such as tithing. Many religious leaders use the scriptures in the book of Malachi in the Old Testament to steal 10% of the sheep's income. If you are practicing Old Testament traditions, then the Old Testament is not obsolete. In addition, who are the Jews if the Old Covenant is fulfilled? Why discourage the people from reading the other books in the Bible if the scriptures are the words of the Most High? Remember, the words of the Most High are alive and powerful, sharper than any double-edged sword. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. If the words of the Most High are alive, this would indicate his words do not die. Why then the Old Testament do not carry any weight in religion? Why discourage the people from reading the entire 66 books if there is nothing to hide? In addition to the false notion of the Old Testament is fulfilled, the black church continue to endorse the doctrines of devils taught by the head leaders of the synagogue of Satan, the Roman Catholic Church. The same nation of people who crucified the Messiah that came in the Father's name that many sheep and Gentiles trapped in idolatry rejected. I am come in my Father's name, and ye receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him ye will receive. There are many prophecies being fulfilled in the Old and New Testaments. 
Unfortunately, many people cannot see because the kingdom of darkness used the black church to blind the eyes of the people of the Most High. Israelites, the system that controlled our ancestors during slavery, did not die. It just morphed into something else. It morphed into the black church. The slave master during our ancestors' time would train an Israelite his version of the scriptures. The slave master interpretation of the scriptures was used for control. The slave master's purpose was not to deliver his slaves, but to create generational slaves. The slave master used the likeness of the Messiah that was sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel to seal the deception. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. The slave master paint an abominable image made in the slave master's likeness to deceive the sheep into serving the heathens. The slave master will use his trained puppets to teach other Israelites how to remain a slave via religion. The black church is home to many generational well-trained slaves. Many Israelites do not ask questions. They follow whatever belief their parents have. The kingdom of darkness used the heathens to teach the Israelites to serve idols and the heathens that abused them without a word. By keeping the Israelites in idolatry, the kingdom of darkness can continue to rule through the heathens. Our people will serve their enemies in every way. However, they become savages to each other. Israelites, can you comprehend why Yeshua's main purpose was to teach the Israelites how to love one another? It was never about loving the world. We are the group of people that need to learn how to unite and love each other. The evidence is everywhere. No other nation need help in that department. Without the Holy Spirit, you will fall for the teachings of religion from the black church. Seeing ye have purified your souls in obeying the truth through the Spirit unto unfeigned love of the brethren, see that ye love one another with a pure heart fervently. The kingdom of darkness set up a network in the physical realm that control every aspect of a person's life. This network is often called the synagogue of Satan and the most popular name given to this network, white supremacy. In order for you to understand how intertwined this network operates in your everyday life, you have to ask the most high to reveal the truth to you. The best strategy the kingdom of darkness used to control the people of the most high, the Israelites, is by establishing the black church. The black church is home to high level workers of iniquity. The leaders of the black church or any church have sold themselves to the head leaders of the satanic network, the mother harlot, the Roman Catholic church. The Protestant churches are her daughters. Regardless of how separated the so-called Protestant church believe they are, they are not separated. They are very much influenced and controlled by the mother harlot. And upon her forehead was a name written, mystery. Babylon the great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. The workers of iniquity that lead the black church are wolves in sheep clothing. If the leaders of the black church were called by the Most High, they would have different doctrines from the doctrines that is popular with the world. There is no way the Most High called them to lead his people and you boldly display a graven image of an idol in the sanctuary. Israelites, the reason they display the abominable graven image the Most High hates the God behind their wicked altar is the image. They are paying homage to their idol. The people of the Most High are being deceived into believing they are serving the Elohim of Israel. An appointed leader from the Most High receive his or her wisdom from the Spirit of the Most High. Yah would never command his people to give his glory to graven images. He shall make you no idols nor graven image, neither rear you up a standing image, neither shall ye set up any image of stone in your land to bow down unto it, for I am the Lord your God. I am the Lord, that is my name, and my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. The Holy Spirit revealed truth to us and tell us the things to come, not the workers of iniquity. Albeit when he, the Spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak and he will show you things to come. If the Holy Spirit is leading the leaders of the black church, the people of the Most High would have known their identity. In addition, uphold the statutes, commandments, and laws of the Most High. The leaders who proclaim the Elohim of Israel called them cannot have the same doctrine as religion. Satan is the founder of religion. 
any leader in the black church teaching the people of the most high the idol worship taught to them by the heathens or prophesying lies they were not called then the lord said unto me the prophets prophesy lies in my name i sent them not neither have i commanded them neither spake unto them they prophesy unto you a false vision and divination and a thing of naught and the deceit of their heart to the leaders of the black church it is time that you disconnect from the satanic network that has been misleading you the sheep are not the only one being misled the synagogue of satan is deceiving you as well the most high has harsh judgment reserved to the wolves in sheep clothing the leaders of the black church are leading the people of the most high to the slaughterhouse too many leaders of the black church are abusing the people of the most high and causing them to stumble you cannot tell the difference between the world and the black church the same abominable practices that are taking place in the heathen system is taking place inside the so-called black church every day the most high is exposing a worker of iniquity abusing his or her congregation what is done in darkness will become known but nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad the kingdom of darkness religious system can no longer hide behind the mountains of lies told for multiple generations that is why the workers of iniquity are trying to interfere with the awakening by trying to silence the bold soldiers of the most high no longer can the black church pretend as if they do not know what is going on no temple sanctuary or church that represent the most high would be powerless against the kingdom of darkness the most high said he would build his church and the gates of hell would not prevail against it and i say also unto thee that thou art peter and upon this rock i will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it the most high do not support religion that is why the people of the most high that is trapped in the house of bondage cannot make progress in life the most high is not going to join his people in idolatry nor would he bless his people in idolatry many leaders in the black church know the truth but refuse to speak the truth instead of believing the most high they allow the spirit of fear to disable them the most high has had enough the Most High is listening to the prayers of his beloved people, the Israelites, and their cries has reached his ears, just as in the times of the Egyptian bondage. And the Lord said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people which are in Egypt, and have heard their cry by reason of their taskmasters, for I know their sorrows. Yah will fight for the righteous. This is why the awakening is happening. The people of the Most High are being deceived by the heathens and within. As the time approached for the Most High to judge the house of bondage, the temple of sin, Yah is giving his people the opportunity to repent and to serve him in the spirit and in truth. Dear Black Church, what did you gain by aiding the kingdom of darkness in misleading the people of the Most High? Now is the time to evaluate the little power you have compared to the swift judgment reserved for your participation in assisting the kingdom of darkness. Instead of dismissing the awakening, you should seek the Most High to find truth. According to the scriptures, in the last days, knowledge would increase. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased to the black church now is not the time to ignore what is happening do not allow the kingdom of darkness to deceive you any longer if the leaders of the black church taught the people of the most high to seek their elohim and build a personal relationship with the most high the black community would be thriving the ministries who love the most high and uphold his statutes commandments and laws would be blessed not too many Israelites in the black church have a personal relationship with the Most High. The leaders in the black church are idols standing in between the Most High and his sheep. Religion through the black church taught the people to depend on their leaders instead of the Most High. You are supposed to encourage the Israelites, the chosen people, to return to serving their Elohim, not increase the sins of Israel. Dear the black church, you exploit the people of the Most High for personal gain. To the leaders of the black church, what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? For what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? 
But what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Too many people are playing with their salvation. Israelites, do not allow the kingdom of darkness to deceive you into believing you have time to waste. Judgment starts with the Israelites. Because judgment starts with us, this should explain why the black community is stagnant. Israelites, it is time to stop looking to the leaders in the black community and church for support and help. They are not built to do what only the Most High can do. Shift your focus to serving the Most High. Watch how he will uplift you and show himself strong through you. You do not need a mega church or a corporation supporting you to find success in your spiritual journey. Everyone has to work out his or her salvation. Everyone has to stand before the judgment seat of the Most High. The Most High wants to deliver his people. To the Israelites trapped in the house of bondage, the black church, the Most High is calling you. Do not miss his call. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light, which in time past were not a people, but are now the people of God, which had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. 